for joining me in this series of Ask the Business Data Analyst, where we will explore different questions related to work done by business data analysts. This video is brought to you by Tech Canvas, which is an IIBA and PMI authorized training partner. Tech Canvas offers project management, business analysis, analytics, and domain certification training. I am Priya Telang, a senior data analyst with a diversified professional experience of 10 years in various MNCs. I am passionate about using data to solve problems. I am a Tableau Desktop Specialist and IIBA Certified Business Data Analyst. So the question for today is, what is predictive analytics? So we will be covering four different aspects. First, we will understand what is predictive analytics and then look at some examples. Then we'll take a look at the predictive analytics process and end off by looking at the advantages and disadvantages. We covered descriptive analytics in our last video, exploring the question of what is happening. We clean, summarize, report, and visualize data here. We then looked at diagnostic analytics, exploring the question of why is it happening? We looked at how to perform data discovery, hypothesis testing, drill down, data mining, and correlation. You can check out these videos for a more detailed understanding. Now, we move on to the next step of a more advanced analysis, predictive analytics. We will look at how it is done using these techniques in a few minutes. So as the name suggests, predictive analytics looks at what will happen in the future. Say for example, you have developed a new marketing campaign to generate more leads and convert them into customers. Without insights into whether this will work or not, you will most likely continue spending on this campaign for a while before you can conclude if it is actually working, right? You would have spent much of your budget, time, and resources by then. But with forecasting or predictions, you can quickly reallocate your budget and efforts to a more profitable channel. Quoting SAS, predictive analytics uses data, statistical algorithms, and machine learning techniques to identify the likelihood of future outcomes based on historical data. So more and more businesses are increasingly looking at predictive analytics to solve big problems using historical data and real-time data insights to make accurate predictions. Now let us go in depth about predictive analytics. So basically it is an iterative process involving various techniques to extract value from data to solve business problems. It has become an essential tool for any organization that collects, stores, and processes data as part of its operations. It heavily relies on machine learning, data mining, and data science in today's context. It is commonly used to solve different business problems like classification, for example, where we check whether the transaction is fraudulent or not. Clustering, where we group customers based on, say, some purchase patterns. Or recommendation. So we, we can suggest which movies the customer would like to watch next to the customers. Regression, for example, predicting the interest rate of a loan. Association analysis. A market basket analysis is a good example. And time series forecasting, wherein, uh, for example, uh, we look at predicting sales based on seasonality. So these are a few techniques uh, that are commonly used. There are quite a lot of other techniques as well. But yeah, these are a few common techniques that are used. Now, what do you think? How does predictive analytics help organizations? With predictive analytics capabilities, organizations no longer have to guess what will work or what the future will look like. With concrete data evidence, they can make decisions confidently. 
Predictive analytics has been used for many years in the form of regression and decision analysis. But now the scope has broadened to include machine learning, artificial intelligence, neural networks, and much more. So it helps improve profit margins by creating pricing strategies for new products where, you know, different data uh, for factors like market pricing analysis, target audience analysis, and competitive landscape analysis are analyzed to come up with price prediction or configuring the store layouts to gain maximum profits. So in a study, they found out that people buying diapers were also buying beers. So they placed these items next to each other and exceeded their profit gains. Optimizing marketing campaigns also benefit from predictive analytics. Amazon uses recommendations to create a personalized page for its customers. So based on what you have purchased or what is in your cart, the recommendation engine predicts what other products might interest you and compel you to buy. Or you can also predict the buying patterns of your customers and send appropriate coupons and stock up your inventory. Predictive analytics helps reduce risk by detecting fraudulent transactions and enhancing customer satisfaction through faster credit scoring. Let us look at a few examples of predictive analytics. So financial services use machine learning to predict credit risk and detect fraud. It is also used to identify and hire employees and predict an employee's performance level. Identify product recommendations, forecast sales, analyze markets and manage seasonal inventory. Predictive analytics basically has many use cases which are widely acceptable and applicable across industries. And we have already developed ready and general purpose models which can be used directly by the organizations. They are easy to deploy and deliver value quickly. So these models can be an excellent starting point for businesses that want to begin their predictive analytics journey. Let us now look at how predictive analytics is implemented in the industry. The first thing to understand is the business problem that you want to solve. What do you want to predict? What will you do with the predictions? Or what decisions will be driven by the insights? What actions will be taken? Once you have the business goal and it is clear, the next step is to source appropriate data. You will need to understand whether data is available or needs to be generated, what sources to consider, how to store them, and so on. Next is focusing on the data quality and transforming data to make it suitable for analysis. Preparing the data for a predictive modeling exercise requires someone who understands both the data and the business problem. Data preparation is considered one of the most time-consuming but vital aspects of the analysis process. Then begins the predictive model building part. You will choose an appropriate model based on the business goal and check the performance using test data for accuracy. If required, fine-tune it and prepare the final model and IT system for deployment. The model's output will only be helpful when embedded into an application or service. So for example, predicting fraudulent credit card transactions must be embedded into the banking system. So these are the basic steps followed while doing predictive analytics in any project. Lastly, let us conclude with the advantages and disadvantages of predictive analytics. So basically, predictive analytics gives you an advantage in the market by revealing future insights. It definitely saves money, time, energy, and other resources, and enables better business decision-making and growth. But uh, at the same time, setting up entire projects uh, using predictive analytics requires extensive planning. 
and getting the correct team onboarded might pose a problem. You also need to spend time to let machine learning learn the business. So it can be a time consuming process when you are getting started with predictive analytics sometimes. I'm sure you must have a broad understanding of predictive analytics and how it is done. Let us know your questions in the comments and we will take them up in the next episode. Stay tuned for more exciting videos in this learning series. Thanks for joining us and good luck.